is the first day of 2021. Amen, y'all. I'm smiling because we made it to 2021 and it is a great time to be alive. I really do believe that. Um, now starting off 2021, <clears throat> you have to excuse my throat because Miss Jackson parted a little too hard last night. <laughs> We're supposed to be hanging out again today. And I'm like, no, uh, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to watch y'all because, yeah. Um, anyway, my girl, Dearis, uh, we're, I'm friends, friends with her on Facebook. Hey, girl, she's one of my subscribers, too. She mentioned that a YouTuber husband passed away. And I'm like, who is this person? And I looked her up. Her YouTube channel is, let me let me get the exact name because I, I don't want to give y'all the wrong information. Um, Feminine Flats. And she literally, Feminine and Flats, excuse me. By the time I post this, it would have been almost a week. Um, absolutely heartbroken. And so... Uh, that that video I agree with you girl that video very shocking because they seem like he seemed like a fairly young and healthy individual with no issues and it seemed like I mean I didn't she didn't really go into or I didn't catch what he died of but it seemed like he possibly had a heart attack um she said he was complaining of what felt like heartburn she went in to get him some medication and some milk and when she found him, he was making this noise almost like he was snoring. And um, she, she called 911 and they said, you know, to get him on his back. She had to call her child in. By the time EMT came there, paramedics, they worked on that man for 40 minutes and pronounced him dead. I just, y'all, but the thing that really that, that's really sad that I feel so bad for her is that she's saying like in the midst of all of this, she's she's a stay at home mom. That that's what she's that's what she's you know. They've been married for what, twelve, fourteen years, a minute. You know that's a while. And now this person that she's been with all this time, the father of her child. It's dead and she's in shock. But uh, again, the thing that's that's really, and that she shouldn't have to worry about is finances, you guys. And I, you know, I was talking to my husband about it and he's like, you're okay, we don't have anything to worry about. But I'm like freak, that like, cause I'm like, yeah, I have life insurance through work. Um, my husband has life insurance through work. And I, we have life insurance on JB, but at this point, I'm like thinking about additional coverage outside of work. However, I will say my work life insurance is pretty good, but she doesn't have anything. I think she. Hey you guys, so we are at the park. Girl, I ain't doing nothing else. It's really, really pretty. Y'all, my husband is like, he has been looking at a lot of these videos for about a month now on living abroad, living over in East Africa, actually. Um, and he's been following these YouTube channels and he, was saying, you know, you know, my husband's a quiet person. So when he talks, I listen, child. So two days ago, he's like, you know, I really think we should highly consider moving um, back to Africa. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I'm just sick of this shit in this country. Girl, just went off on a tangent. Now, let me just say this. Like, 10, 15 years ago, absolutely. But now that we have a child and we're in the middle of a pandemic, I'm not sure about that and the only reason why is because we just started this pandemic and we have no idea what the entire world is going to look like within five years so there's pros and cons of living abroad but i do agree with my husband on a lot of different 
things when it comes to living here in the states but we always know that the grass is always the grass always seems green seems greener on the other side so and a part of me like i said is afraid that once we get settled in somewhere and something happens to one of my family members and if the only thing that would make me leave and travel at this point would be um, if something happened to my, my parents. And if we're stuck in Rwanda or wh wherever in another country, even here, like we have no idea how things are going to transpire here within the next, we just started this year. So, so y'all, that's me rambling, child, wanting to move. I'm like, damn, can we, can we consider moving back to Texas first? Go I ahead. Cheez-Its. You can have some Cheez-Its. Well, look, let's go. Why are you filming us? You're not I allowed to be filmed. I don't want Cheez-Its. You're not? Yeah. You're not allowed to be filmed. You can have a roll. Ah, JB, be careful, okay? Yeah. Be oh. careful. Hi, poopy butt pants. I don't like Thomas. Share it with everyone. Oh, no, 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 Thomas, look. Oh. Hey, guys. Oh, Thomas, look. Oh, Thomas, my nerves are so bad right now because of this BS that's going on at the Capitol. Let me adjust the camera. This is absolutely, this is the day where Trump supporters have stormed the US Capitol. This is absolutely disgusting and embarrassing as an American to see this happen. This man has lost the election and instead of worrying about thousands of people who are contracting COVID and dying, instead of being concerned and empathetic about American citizens who are being thrown out of their house, this asshole is more concerned about winning an election that he lost. The American people, I'm pissed. Typically, I don't talk about politics on my channel because I try to keep it, you know, Switzerland or whatever, but now I'm pissed the hell off because this has my anxiety and my loved one's anxieties raised through the roof. They have every, and let me just say this, they have every right to piss, peacefully protest, but breaking in the Capitol, I mean, I literally just saw one guy use a chair or whatever and break through the glass and get through um and apparently now a woman has been shot all right y'all the kids are here again child miss lori had a doctor's appointment so they all came over to my house <laughs> that's what we do we've been doing this ever since the pandemic broke out actually like we we trade so if the kids are and it's literally all the neighborhood kids about four to five kids um, they stay with one family and then in the morning and then whoever is it's not like there's no rules to this. So for example, today I dropped JB off around 10. And so Miss Lori had an appointment at two. So then she dropped all the kids off my house at two. Uh, so they've been here for about an hour. So we just, this is what community is about. Okay. We oh, yeah. What's going on, baby? Oh, You guys are gonna go in the backyard? Yeah, we got shoes. Okay, y'all be careful. Look at these. JB, be careful with that door. Can you find your shoes? Can you find your shoes, Thomas? Excuse me. I should not ever be in your favor. <laughs> oh my God, girl. You don't inhale. I'm on YouTube, girl. Yes. Girl, I'm not sunny, folks, child. They wanna go there look like Daniel Boone and stuff. Turn the bitch down. Why you edit? Why you edit? Check on my stimulus check. Cause it keep great. I checked it. All righty. Pumpkin, you know, I need some really harsh blush. Let's go to the party stuff. Oh, look, they have alcohol for a change. They have alcohol. Let's go get um plastic forks. I mean plastic spoons. Get some bowls. Oh, you want to do this? 
Are these bowls? No, we need we need deeper bowls. Go ahead. Go ahead. Open up. Which one do you want to open up first? All right, that's fine. Who's this? What is? Oh, it's a tire. I don't know which tire it is because because I because I saw them. This is just collector stuff, baby. So pins. There's something else up underneath. There's a bag. You know what this? I don't know what it is. I know what it is. It's, it's for your Game case. Boy. It's a Game Boy yeah. case. Oh, oh what a yeah. Nice case. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, what is Ooh. There's a cart inside of the bag. She yes. really wants to see a card. Okay, look at the cart, sweet pea. What does the cart say? Can you read it? You can you try and read it, sweet pea? At the top. Yeah, I'm reading it. He read it. I'm gonna read it out loud. I hope you have a good birthday. I love playing with you. You're the best person in the whole white world, and I think you're super cute. He didn't write all that. She didn't write all that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Look how she's looking. <laughs> good going, Terry. <laughs> Thing for two things. Yeah, thank you, Thomas. Thank you for pointing it out. <laughs> oh, that's that looks so like a What is that, JB? Super Mario clothes. Super Mario clothes. Oh, oh. Wow. What else she got there? Oh, oh, that's so that's so Isn't that cute? I got it from Children's Place. Well, We're gonna have to go online in Children's that's Place. Yeah. Super. <laughs> Which one? What is it? Super, Super Mario. The one that Dennis tried to get him. Oh. Like, yeah. Watch what? this. Look at this. Look at that. Remember that? What is that? Remember? <laughs> my dad has one of these. NES He's game. Like, yeah. yeah. My dad has one of these. He has one of those. These are yeah. So fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see which one it is, JB? Tell him which one it is. It's the Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt. I mean, Duck Hunt. <laughs> Y'all just got back from running a bunch of errands. Honey, we went to Sally's. Well, I went to Sally's. Went to GameStop to try to get JB something. Girl, what the hell is going on here? Y'all, y'all have to excuse me. Um, went to go get my blood drawn just to get some blood work. I'm okay, girl, just get some simple blood work. But baby, can y'all see this? Went to Sally's, right? Because I got some more dip powder to do my nails. Cause girl, <laughs> yeah. So, why the girl was like, I'm gonna show you everything I bought. Like, there's these young millennials, and I know no shade to the, millenni the millennials who watch my channel, baby. But she's like, Would you like a bag? I literally got about 10 items here. Now, Heffa, I'm gonna balance all this stuff on my titties. Yes, I need a bag. And now you have to, you have to pay for a bag at Sally's. Let me show y'all what I got. Um, so let's start off. You need to. Did you hurt your tongue? Did you hurt your tongue? Are you? I can't stand kids. Let me show y'all what I bought. Did y'all know that they sell Queen Helen cholesterol for like four dollars, three ninety nine? Right, right, right. Got that. Getting on my nerves. I got some black castor oil. All right, you guys. I got a nail file by Beauty Secrets. And then a nail buffer. This is what you use when you're done. This is the last step. Fuck that nail. And then I got these the nail. extra tips. I have so much nail stuff. It's not even funny. Maybe I'll show y'all my nail stuff in but another I have video. So much gaming stuff. It's not even funny. Nobody asked you. Nobody and then asked you. I got. You need to watch it. I know you're playing, but that belt that you holding on to, I can use it. <laughs> <laughs> I got some white dipping powder or clear <laughs> dipping powder uh, uh, and then i got these 
I'm gonna t let me open this up. It's um <laughs> now. Oh, let me put one on this purple to show y'all. Let's test it out, baby. Look, Phoenix ain't no joke, JB. I'm you gonna find out with them what the governor is saying. The governor of Arizona, excuse me, the president of Arizona. <laughs> The governor of Arizona is not playing. He is saying, basically, kids need to be in school. <laughs> Schools need to open. No more virtual learning. Y'all need to go. Teachers, you need to get into the classrooms. These kids are suffering. These kids are depressed. These Don't, don't do no air quotes. These kids are, are behind. Look, Arizona is at the bottom. Regard they were behind before. What are you talking about? So he's saying, child, he's saying the schools need to open. They need to go to summer school. Yeah, I am so glad I pulled my baby out. I feel so, my, my sympathy is with the teachers, the educators. You know, what do you do? He's basically saying, I'm going to cut funding for the schools who won't open. If you decide you, you don't want to have in-person, you just want to do virtual, slashing your funding. Ah. <sighs> And our cases are ridiculous still. So let's see how you do this, y'all. Lip, it says, number one, apply your favorite nail polish. Okay, girl, it's already on there. Number two, lift deco with sheet and press on Mama nail me. with some tweezers. Tweezers? What's tweezers? Tweezers, child. Tweezers? What tweezers? Quack. So this is what they look like. Can, Can I see, see that? Hold on, baby. So we're gonna try it on, on this one before I do my nails here in the morning and act a fool. Well, let me figure it out. Hold on, y'all. Hold, hold the line. Oh, I it was no, y'all, they got on my nerves. I, I, they looked at me like I was, like I talk to y'all, I talk to everybody like this. I talk crazy to everybody. I don't care who you are. I don't care your age, race, creed. I don't even know what that means. So yesterday, <laughs> I went over, <laughs> Jamie know I'm crazy. Yesterday, I went over there so that JB could play with the kids, right? With the other children. There is four kids there, including JB. No. Who is this? Oh, that's that man's son. Mm-hmm. He driving. Is he even old enough to drive? Yeah. Yeah, I see it now. That's cute, huh? So yesterday, I went over with intentions of dropping JB off. Why did I get there and all the babies are on an electric device? JB is not like that, y'all. He has tons of little handheld help. We get, gave him two or three of our old phones. If if he could choose between playing a video game and playing with some kids, he's gonna play with the kids. So why do I get there? They're all on, some, on an electric device, like all the kids. And JB's just standing around looking at them. And they're like, can we go over to your house then? And I'm like, no! Y'all can't come over to my house drinking up all my juice, eating up all my snacks, and you're just going to be on your cell phones and on your Switch? Miss Lori started laughing. I said, no, y'all can do this right here. My child can do this at home. You guys are supposed to be playing. That's why we came over here so you could play. Not so that he could sit up here and watch you on your cell phones or on your Switch. Y'all supposed to be out doing stuff. Get up. Child, they looking at me like this woman's crazy. Yeah, I am. Get up and go play. That frustrated me so bad, baby. I decorated half the cake with coconut and half of it without it since someone doesn't like coconut flakes. Happy birthday, dear JB. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Blow out your candles, baby. Oh, Lord, chat. Chat, you got an asthma? Come on now. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh Lord. Lord, you, you, you. 